Hey there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And on this episode of 3B TV, what I thought I would do is just take you around and share with you some of the projects that I am itching to get started on here on the homestead in 2019. Now you can see still a lot of snow on the ground. I uh, had another snowstorm last night, another four, probably four to five inches, although uh, it did warm up today and it's really melted down a lot. Um, Mother Nature just still doesn't want to let go. As I shared in my last video, I am getting a little frustrated with that, but it is what it is. And as they say, with March in like a lion, out like a lamb. So hopefully that will hold true and we have beautiful spring weather in the future. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and dream and uh, dream big. And so today I just thought I would share with you some of the projects and we'll just walk around the homestead and I'll show you kind of what I'm planning on doing. So over here off the edge of our driveway, um, you can see I've got my pig crate still on my um, trailer. And underneath this black tarp is Wilson, my 1953 farm all cub. But in this area here, my plan is to actually um, put in a little bit more rubble. There's a little bit of a knoll that breaks off there in the back. And uh, I want to enlarge this, level it out, and put in uh, a Carolina carport there with the hope that um, eventually I'll be able to um, enclose it and turn it into kind of a barn. Now, I don't know if that barn enclosure piece will happen this year, but at least I want to get the Carolina carport up and that way I'll have a place to uh, store my tractor a little bit better out of weather. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to get my coyote out of the garage as well and free up a little bit more room inside. What I'm hoping to hear from you is if you have any plans, if you've seen any plans, I, I've been doing a lot of uh, looking online for good ideas with regards to turning carports into barns. But if you have any experience doing that, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know how that's worked out for you. My father-in-law has done it. And um, so I know it can be done. I've seen a lot of video, uh, I shouldn't say videos. I've seen a lot of pictures um, on it. And so if you have any information on that, let me know. I would love to hear it. But that's one of the big things that I'm planning on doing this year is putting that Carolina carport right there. And um, got some other uh, plans as well. Future, it won't be in this year. You can see we've kind of got a patio area here. Um, although right now it's all covered under snow. But um, eventually what I'd like to do is actually off the side of the, um, the carport slash barn, whatever we're gonna call it, I want to put an outside processing area um, to handle chickens and so on and so forth. So down here, I'm in the lower, down here I'm in the lower part of my pig area, um, my paddock, so they kind of run down here. There's a fence that divides them, two nice sized paddocks. And what I plan on doing, actually I've got the little guys down here, although that wasn't the plan this year, um, but plans had to change. So I've got my little guys down here to, uh, this winter. It's been kind of a pain in the butt. Didn't really plan on having pigs this far down. But what I want to do this year is I want to move my layers out of the coop that you can see, the red coop up there on the hill. And I want to put in a mobile coop down here. I want to build a mobile coop and actually just have my chickens down here um, so that they can kind of spread the pig's manure around and, uh, and whatnot. And uh, so that's got another big plan of ours this year is to uh, kind of uh, move the chickens out of that stationary coop down here, give them a lot more area to run. I can move them between the two paddocks. Um, I've got a gate over here right about there, although it needs to be widened a little bit. Um, and uh, so I'll be building a mobile chicken coop. Haven't decided on the design of that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with uh, Justin Rhodes's Chickshaw idea, or I've also really like uh, Al Lumna's New York City. Um, and also he's building a new design of a pig shelter that I think might work as a portable chicken coop. So if you've got any portable chicken coop ideas on wheels, um, it can be rather large because I do have my uh, tractor to move it around, uh, let me know. I'd love to hear from you on that. The last two projects that I'm planning on doing this year on the homestead involve the garden. 
You can see behind me right here is our raised bed area. And one of the things is, is that I want to expand it. Now last year we added, uh, I think it was three raised beds and we also did some straw bale gardening. This year I want to add four new beds and I want to try um, cattle panel hoops between uh, two beds. Well, actually it'll be um, from bed one to two and then from bed three to four. I want to do the cattle panel hoops and then I want to try growing squash and beans and those kinds of things, runner beans, over those hoops, uh, watermelons, um, and support them with um, either t-shirts or pantyhose or something like that, but to try growing those things off of a cattle panel hoop. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, I got the idea, I think originally I think I saw on Al Lumna's channel, but um, uh, Roots and Refuge Farm has has a lot of cattle panel trellises like that, um, hooped trellises, and uh, so I'm very excited to try that out. The last thing I want to talk about, and it'll actually probably be the first project that I tackle of these major projects, is to build a cattle panel greenhouse. Now, I'm probably going to do that right here, here in this area. Um, got a nice open space here, not a lot of shade, not a lot of trees behind me. Um, those are quite a distance away they don't really cast much shade over here so I think it'll be a great area for me to put that up I had been looking at doing a more portable design um, basically two cattle panels and um, almost like a mobile chicken tractor except instead um, having the uh, plastic over it Texas prepper 2 I think has a video on it but I've been looking at some of the other designs that people do where it's a little bit more permanent, it's a little bit more fixed, and that allows you to do a little larger of a greenhouse, and also a little taller. So actually, I have in the past built a couple of hoop-style chicken tractors. So there's one right there that we use as our rabbitry, and there's one right there that we use as a pig house now. Um, but one of the things that I found with those is I'm not all that tall, but I do have to hunch over a little bit when I go inside those greenhouses. Uh, when I go inside those uh, hoop coops. And so that's another reason why I'm thinking I wanna build more of a permanent structure um, so that I can raise it up off the ground a little bit and get just a foot or two more of an arch. Um, so I've been looking at a, a bunch of different designs. If you have an experience with building a uh, greenhouse out of cattle panels, I'd love to hear from you. Love to hear what went well, what you would do differently. Um, right now I'm planning on doing one of maybe three or four panels in length and I feel like that'll give us a good size at least to start with um, and uh, so let me know what your thoughts are um, I'd love to hear again if you've had experience doing it what went well what didn't go so well um, help me uh, not make the same mistakes you did. I'd like to make other mistakes. <laughs> so anyhow, folks, those are some of the things that we've got going on planned here in 2019 that I'm very excited about. Um, those are going to be some major projects. I plan on doing the greenhouse first, then I plan on doing the garden beds, um, followed by probably the mobile chicken tractors, and then after that we'll be putting in place the um, hopefully we'll be putting in place the Carolina carport and uh, then we'll kind of go from there um, once we get all of that in place probably at that point we'll be harvesting vegetables and putting up produce and so we won't have much time to do um, many other things around here as far as major projects but that's what I plan on doing this spring and early summer before the harvest um, really starts setting in so until next time everybody thanks so much for tuning in as uh, as I said if you've got any thoughts um, on any of those things let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear from you and if you haven't already please like share subscribe till next time we'll catch you later